And this is how we're gonna have our own little mini render farm and use multiple instances of Blender to render the same project. And I'm gonna click on this folder. I just wanna make sure we're going to our tutorial folder. Hit accept, I'm gonna save this. And the last thing I like to do is I like to go to window and toggle system console. I like having this open because it's gonna let me know what Blender is doing, if there's any errors, and also give me an estimate on each frame per second, which we can use to calculate how long this is gonna to take to render. Let's hit control F12, open up our command window, and let's kind of see how everything's going. All right, so our average time per frame, it started at 14 seconds, and it looks like it's jumping down to nine seconds. And as you can see, we're getting our image sequences in here. We have our EXR and also our preview file so we can kind of see what we're looking at in this JPEG. So now that we know that that's working, we have an average frame of nine seconds. So what we can do is if I, if I right click on Blender, I'm gonna open up another instance of Blender 4.3. We're gonna open up the same project file and we'll leave everything the same because we know that our output is on placeholders. I'm gonna hit Control F12 again. Let me close some of this. And the render time might go up slightly, but what we have right now is we have two instances of Blender running to render out our project. And the next thing we can do to make sure this is kind of working, we're gonna to go to the task manager and we're just gonna keep an eye on our resources. If this starts spiking too high, if your GPU, CPU, or memory starts spiking too high, you might run into a little bit of issues depending on your scene. For example, we just lost one instance of Blender because it was probably trying to calculate too much by having these screens up, as well as running Blender, multiple instances of Blender in the background. And this doesn't happen with all projects. I knew it happened with this one, that's why I wanted to show you. So what we could try doing one more time is opening up Blender, doing another instance, we'll render it out. And now again, we have two instances rendering out our project. So as you can see, our resources are getting pretty high. And again, depending on your scene or your graphics card, your hardware, you might not be able to open up too many instances of Blender. But if you have a crazy rock solid machine and everything's running smoothly and these numbers are low, feel free to do it again and open up another instance of Blender. So I'm gonna close these and I'm also going to close all the windows of Blender. Just have a fresh slate and we have no instances of Blender. And so we got some of our frames here. We're gonna leave those, that's fine. And this is a bit hard to judge because OBS is using so much of my GPU right now for the screen recording. But let me show you one more way to use command line rendering where you can do the same process, have multiple instances of Blender, 